What's up, guys? Oh, relax. It's Derek. Um, hey, we're in my car. It's about eight in the morning. I just got off work like an hour ago, but I have a meeting in 15 minutes and it's Halloween and I figured I'd make this video. Congratulations to Mr. Eddie Gray for his 1,000 subscribers. And he's a good friend of mine. I got to meet him again in Nashville this year. He's got great success on his YouTube channel, great success at thepipenook.com. So I gotta throw some support his way and name my top five favorite albums. Now I know everybody's done it in a little bit different format, but here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to hit on a few different genres, some music, some albums that I've listened to that like stood out immediately, that kind of grabbed me immediately. And I've always kind of gone back to. So, without further ado, and I better knock this out because it's 8 o'clock, people are getting here and they're, you know, they walk by and see a guy talking into his phone. Well, that ain't always normal. Okay, number one, Vivaldi's The Four Seasons. Now, this is classical. and He was an Italian composer, put together a very famous, uh, I guess it's like a symphony? Not a symphony, it's, I don't know. I don't know, it's an, an ensemble? I don't know. I don't know what the, the technical term for it is, but you remember. That's, you, you, you know it. You remember it. Anyway, that one always kind of stood out for me. I've always, I've always had a enjoyment of some classical music from, from time to time. And uh, I remember just, I listened to that several times as a kid, and I've listened to it a few times as an adult. And even earlier this year, I listened to it again. It's just real enjoyable. So, number two, let's go on to, okay, um, the soundtrack to the Blues Brothers. Dan Aykroyd, John Belushi, comedy geniuses, musical uh, talents for sure. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, the Blues Brothers. Uh, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi, uh, you know, actors, comedians, but they did have real musical chops, and they surrounded themselves with great musicians, and their stuff is timeless. I mean, it's fantastic. Uh, check out the Blues Brothers for some old-time blues, well, you know, blues, rhythm and blues. All right, uh, how about, let's move on later on in the 80s. Oh, here we go. Number three, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction, starts out with Welcome to the Jungle, you got Paradise City, you got Sweet Child of Mine, you got all those classics. I used to listen to that album front to back, knew every song, and uh, I hadn't listened to it in quite a while, and I, I played it again this year, and I just, it's like, you know, it's, it's real comfortable. I enjoyed the heck out of that as a teenager, and still do today, you know. Night Train, Mr. Brownstone. Gosh. Lots of great songs on uh, Guns N' Roses. Um, ooh, okay, here we go. We're going to do one more, like, rock and roll one. How about Tantric? And their album, Tantric. Now, I don't like them because their last name is Tantric and my last name is Tant. Um, it's just really good rock music. Um... Uh, if you ever heard of the band Days of the New, they were really big in the late 90s. They had a huge album, and they were just about to go on tour with Metallica. And then the lead singer fired all... Right before the tour, the lead singer, I think, fired all the, the members of the band. So those guys got a new singer and formed the band Tantric. And they put out a few albums. And I just really like their music. It all It stands out. A lot of good guitar work. It's not, it's not like overly heavy, but it's not like ballads, soft rock, or anything like that. It's just really good, T tantric. And that was number four, right? So number five, um, one of my favorite albums of all time is the the debut album of Tenacious D, and I think it's called Tenacious D. 
that's the comedy rock duo of Jack Black and Kyle Gass. Uh, everybody knows Ky uh, Jack Black from School of Rock. Uh, they're, they formed a musical duo and they appeared on HBO for a while. And uh, they put out put out some good uh, material. They've got three or four albums out. And uh, if you have a sense of humor like me and a, a good sense of, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty pretty decent fan of rock rock music and, and metal. And so that kind of blends together my enjoyment of comedy and rock and, and metal. So, you know, I, and, you know, I, I appreciate everybody who responded to Eddie. Uh, there's a lot of people who really wanted to talk about how much music means to them. And, and I... I, I love music too, it means a lot to me, but I am not as eloquent, uh, or, or, you know, I'm, I can't say the, the wonderful things about what music means to me, I can't say it any better uh, than what has already been said a million times over, so uh, I think for all of us, music is a very deeply personal thing, it's a big part of our lives, it ha it's, serves as therapy, it serves as fun, as enjoyment, as enable as a way to vent it's just um it's just it's inter it's part of my soul is really what music is it's just a part of my soul I, every day i gotta listen to to something and this list just represents like a fraction of, of what music means to me and the the bands and the albums that i enjoy so congratulations eddie uh a thousand subs thank you all for watching Happy Halloween! Smell my beard.